Hey everyone! In the F-16 project intro video, I explained the importance of the cord position of the horizontal stabilizer pivot axis, and then I did a test to determine where I would set that point. In this video, I'd like to show you the test that I did to come up with that point. I started by printing a horizontal stabilizer that's the same size that it will be on the RC plane, and on the base I added several notches spaced at 5% cord increments. Then I printed a mount that attaches to my longboard wheel, which rotates freely and simulates the pivot axis. The idea behind the test is to screw the horizontal stabilizer into the mount at different cord positions, expose it to a stream of air, and observe how much torque it takes to rotate the horizontal stabilizer when it has an angle of attack. I should expect to find a cord position that results in virtually no torque to rotate the stabilizer, or pretty much a balance point. One thing to note is that I have to position the test setup as vertically as possible such that gravity doesn't influence the rotation of the stabilizer. As you can see here, once I rotate the horizontal stabilizer horizontally, gravity takes over and just rotates it downward. I started the test off with the pivot point set at 20% cord. You can see that the stabilizer acts strongly like a wind vane where it wants to point forward into the oncoming air, and when it's displaced far from center, it self-corrects back to pointing forward. This indicates that the balance point is far aft of the pivot axis. Next, I moved the pivot axis back to 30% cord. It still strongly self-corrects to pointing forward when displaced far from center, indicating the balance point is still further aft. Next, I tried 40% cord. You can see that the stabilizer still self-corrects to pointing forward, but is now doing so with less force. This indicates we're getting close to a good point to position the axis, because the servo won't have to work as hard to displace the stabilizer from center. The pivot is now set to 45% cord. It's only gently reorienting itself pointing forward, and tends to lean slightly to one side or the other. This behavior starts to get worse when the pivot is moved back to 50% cord. I then jump to 60%, which seems to be roughly the balance point of the stabilizer because it doesn't want to point forward or backward, but instead comes to a rest almost perpendicular to the oncoming air. The final position I tested was at 75% cord, which is aft of the determined balance point, and the test confirms this because the stabilizer actually flips around and points backwards into the oncoming air. For the build, I'll be setting the pivot axis to 42.5% cord. I chose this point because it's a happy medium between the 40 and 45% cord positions, which had characteristics that I liked during the test. The 40% position had good self-centering characteristics, and the 45% position, while it wasn't as good at centering back to neutral, it showed that the oncoming air wasn't creating excessive torque about the pivot axis. Probably though, the most important characteristic that both positions shared is that they're stable in the sense that the stabilizer remained pointing forward. Therefore, by splitting the difference, I should now have an axis position that will center nicely, but won't put too much strain on the servos. That wraps things up for this video. I hope you found this test interesting. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next part.